My name is Laura Ikeji Kanu, and I'm a mom and a businesswoman and a fashion entrepreneur. And what else? An author. Hey. And what else? Mm, what else? What else do I do? I do everything. You mess with my sister, you mess with me. Yeah. Kind of close. Uh, growing up was good. Um, could have been better. But I mean, like, would you rather, you know, have, you know, all that growing up and then have this life? And we were not born with a silver spoon. Everybody knows that. We grew up in, you know, very, very humble uh, background, but, um, but it was fun. And started from the bottom, now we're here. Ah, that's the most important thing, right? I think I'm naturally a very happy person. Life. I mean, what, you know, you have a life. You have love. I have love around me. I, I, was, I was doing fitness. I was a fitness instructor for uh, five years. Um, I mean, when I finished university, I went straight into fitness. I think I was in fitness even when I was in university. Um, and then I worked with my sister, or worked with my sister for a bit before Instagram showed up <laughs> and I concentrated I just put all my energy on Instagram so basically I was in a lot of fitness a lot of um yeah I had a clothing line at some point okay. so I was in a lot of fitness basically and working with my sister before Instagram my book um, how to make money on Instagram in January and I told myself listen this year has to be a very busy year and it has to be a very happy year for me so yeah my book um, came out and after my book I wanted to do something more and I, I at that point I knew a lot of people because my book sold out in six hours all right even from um, I'm, I know I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to mention a site where my book sold out oh yeah so on paper it sold out and uh, on my, before I even opened Laura KG, um shop online, um, it sold out on paper, it sold out on my store in one day. I was thinking it was 24 hours, but in six hours, we didn't have anything to sell. So I was like, okay, maybe people like me, you know, it's time to do something else and time to um, do my perfume. And I did that and that worked too. That's, that one was just mad because I mean I was, I was telling people look listen buy my perfume in 24 hours and I'll love you forever and that one was that the love it showed me um, I, when I when I sold my perfume was crazy that was in a few hours we had nothing no bottle to sell we sold out virtually everything even till now we have nothing to sell so we are producing more um, we're trying to make it better you know and bigger <laughs> so but yeah um, after my perfume I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, I've been doing a lot of advertising on social media as well and I've been enjoying Instagram and I think this year has been a good year I think because it has to do with money <laughs> and Nigerians love money Nigerians are obsessed with money and I understand there's a lot of poverty in the land there's a lot of poverty in the country um, a lot of youths do not have jobs I mean, like spending four, four years in a university, coming out with first class, and you're still looking for a job, and you're getting offers for 80,000, 100,000 naira, even less, you know. So when you get a book that teaches you how to make money yourself, by yourself, without working for somebody, I'm sure you want to um, buy that. But I think that's one of the reasons why um, my book sold out that much. I printed thousands of copies. We're actually working on the deluxe version right now. Printed thousands of copies that are sold out. We are not selling anymore in the store because we don't have books. Um, we're not selling online because we don't have books except Amazon. And Amazon, um, well, I'm selling on Kindle because Kindle is producing and selling. Because we don't have anything to sell. And I think I don't think it because well, they love me. Yeah. Aside that, I think because it has a money thing, and you know we, we all like money. I used to be a rapper. I mean, like years ago, I used to be a rapper. So I've done music. I know. I know. I know a little about music. Um, I've done. I've done acting. I did acting. I acted in one movie that was. I, my acting was pathetic. It sucked. I don't think I ever act in my life again. But I'll try. 
Um, what else? Um, dancing. I do a lot of dancing in the store. I'm thinking maybe acting, but before I do acting, I probably go to you know acting classes and just learn a bit, so I don't mess myself up the second time. I think because I have a very supportive um, person, and I know that in my head, I know family comes first. So it's family first, um, work later. And I have a very supportive husband who tells me, you know what, do this. I don't worry, just go. I'm here. Just go. You know, somebody who pushes me and supports me all the way. So basically, I think this is a support system. My husband is, that's my guy, you know. <laughs> that's my main guy. He tells me, look, listen, don't worry. Don't worry about Ryan. I'm with Ryan. You know, do what you got to do. Uh, and if, if, if it means me taking care of my son or being at home with my son, he says, okay, don't worry. Let me go, you know, go to these meetings for you. Let me do this for you. Um, it pushes me. I think it pushes me. Basically, yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I do. I have a Laura KG Youth Conference coming. I know a lot of people don't. I mean, we have over 180 million people in Nigeria. Um, we have a lot of youth in Nigeria. Not all of them have my book, you know. And the conference is actually to teach them how to make money via social media. Um, I will be taking on Instagram. I, I really don't like to teach people stuff that I don't know. I'm not very good with Twitter and Facebook. But I, I know Instagram is my place. It's like Instagram is like home. You know, so I, I, I have a, a lot of speakers, other speakers who will teach them on how to make money via social media, you know, through different platforms while I teach on Instagram. But you still have to make money on social media. I have to make money on Instagram. Um, I got busy. I got busy. Um, blogging, you know, requires you writing and writing about fashion. And if you know me, I like to do my stuff myself. Um, I have a problem with employing a lot of people, <laughs> and I think that's a problem. Uh, I like to do my stuff myself. I like to be involved. Um, there was no time for fashion blogging anymore. Um, sitting down, and I think I stopped. I stopped when I opened my store. You know, because I have a store. I have to be there daily. Um, no matter how short, you know, I have to be there for, even if it's 30 minutes, 2 minutes, I go to my store daily. Um, I have a store, I have a family, I have businesses. It's hard to sit down like, and I don't want to give my fashion blog to anybody that I don't trust. So basically I don't do blogging anymore because there's no, there's no time. Bullying, I, I tell people that that's one, one thing I, I teach. Bullying, like if you're going to be popular on social media and you want to make money on social media, well, get ready. They are going to message you. And they'll message your ego. They'll message your self-esteem. Um, I, I was bullied online a lot. And, um, I, you know, I think uh, before this whole Instagram thing started, uh, my sister would put me on a blog. And I would, you'll see 1,000 comments of people abusing me and telling me how stupid I am. How, you know, just some nasty comments. And... Um, unfortunately for me, I actually went through the comments. I had the opportunity of going through all the comments because I worked with my sister. And sometimes I'll feel bad, sometimes I'll laugh, but I didn't want to stop because I knew what I was going to. And after, then I'll tell my sister, post my, post my uh, picture again. She'll be like, are you sure? After all the user, I didn't post it again. What more can you say? You said virtually everything. And I think it was just my, because I, I like the word consistent. You know, I always want to be consistent. That's why I'm always on Instagram. One million or not one million, I'll do what I do when, you know, before I had the one million. I'll always, you know, be in your face, even if I didn't have one million followers. So it's not even about the one million followers. So I told her, put me, put me, keep putting me. Let them insult me, it's fine. So I tell people, a lot of bullying will happen. Um, a lot of people will tell you things that, you know, you will not like to hear. So it's either or. Either you want to continue and be consistent or just pull pull out and just you know stop. For me I know I see it. I've had it all. <laughs> no. <laughs> just one, but I can't say it. Cause I'm married. <laughs>